Hi, I'm Christine Cushing for today's offering from the Quarantine Kitchen. And today I'm taking you to the Greek beach for something that I have been craving and I can't wait till summer. It's going to be Greek gyro in a pita. Let's get right to it. So many delicious flavors are happening here from the Quarantine Kitchen and it's gonna be awesome. So first step is the chicken. Chicken, I always use thighs, pretty much. I mean, it would have to be a pretty, I don't know, uh, a day that most people who know me know I'm not gonna do anything with chicken breast unless I cook it on the whole bird. The chicken thigh is delicious, it's moist, it's tender, it's very forgiving. So these are boneless and skinless. And I'm gonna get my spice mix going and then we'll put it on and this is gonna be in the oven. 375 is my temperature, oven is preheating. Okay, spice number one, you know where we're going. There's gotta be some Greek oregano going in. The full recipe will be down below, but you know, I have to tell you, we Greeks are generally heavy handed on the oregano. But this is Greek oregano, it's a great quality, very intense, but isn't gonna give you that bitterness. Next spice is some coriander seed. And this actually came from my garden. Last year for the first time I grew some coriander and towards the end it starts to sprout up and then you get these beautiful seeds. You can imagine how fragrant it is. So probably, you know, a little pinch of coriander, not too, too much, but it does offer a beautiful fresh flavor. Now I'm gonna go in with a bit of cumin, which a lot of people find controversial. I love cumin as long as it's in the right amount. So half as much cumin as coriander. This has been toasted and then ground. Again, going in. Where else is it gonna go? It's gonna go in. Not too much of that for sure. Next spice is allspice. And this I've grounded a bit coarsely. I love what allspice brings to this, kind of a warming spice. And it is gonna be really nice, not too much with the chicken. And again, the dark meat can take more intense spices. That's the other beauty of it. Last thing that's gonna go in spice-wise is gonna be some smoked paprika. It's gonna give it a beautiful crimson color. This is sweet though, it's not spicy. It's gonna give me that nice brick color all around. Oh, can't wait for this baby. Always a little bit of salt. And I gotta say, my fellow countrymen, tend to be a little bit heavy handed on the salt too. So it's always better to err on less than more. Little cracked black. This will not be hot as in spicy that way. It's going to be a mild flavor, but you know, it can't happen without lemon. Lemon zest, which I always do, and the juice. Already. I know I'm in Greece. Lemon and oregano, right? Okay, juice of, let's see, half a lemon or so. This seems like a juicy one. So I'm gonna go with, yeah, it looks really good. Juice of half a lemon, going in. Now let's talk a little bit about the name of this dish. Gyro, we call it in Greek. A lot of people say gyro. So let's talk about the gyro. So gyro comes from the same word that you would say gyroscope. It really is the same word, like the same base of the word. But in Greek, gyro just means spin or turn. I feel like the, the father in the big fat Greek wedding. Gyro comes from the Greek word to turn around, gyro, which is what it is, and that's how it's cooked. Now here, I'm doing a little cheat, going in with a bit of extra virgin olive oil, not too much because the chicken thighs are moist and I don't need to worry about them drying out. Oh yes, you can start to imagine the flavors. Simplicity, if you have some time and you know, you're now in the quarantine kitchen so you probably have more time, you can let this marinate for a little while, an hour, up to four, no longer than that with the lemon juice in it because the lemon's gonna start to cook it but that's looking really great. Okay, it's seasoned, oiled up, lemoned, ready to go. Setting it aside. Now, 
Gyro, when you have it in Greece, it's the ultimate street food. We have it on the beach. It's like that thing that you crave because it's very portable. The one thing they do in Greece that's super cool is they add French fries to it. So here's what I was thinking. I'm gonna take some potatoes, just strain them. I had them in water here. These are, you can use a russet, a Yukon, just not a new potato. And what I'm basically gonna do here is make some oven baked fries. Let's go in with a little olive oil like that. And a little salt, a little pepper, and just a bit of oregano on the fries, but not too much. And actually, just a touch of the paprika because it's going to give them a nice little color. Okay, tossing this around. I'm going to toss it towards you so I don't have the bath. Just to coat them nicely. And the idea of this is you're going to imagine or it's going to feel like you're having gyro in Greece where they jam the little french fries in the pita. That's pretty cool. Now the one last thing I'm going to add is an onion. And I'm actually taking a cooking onion and I'm going to cook it alongside the, let's just trim this off, the chicken thighs. Just because I don't like raw onion and in fact the only raw onion you should be serving would be a red onion or a sweet onion. So cooking onions are meant to be cooked with. But here I'm going to add another layer of flavor to the chicken because I'm going to be roasting these onions along with the chicken, right? So they're going to go in here and maybe just a touch more olive oil so they don't burn. Like that. That's good, okay? And blending this together so that the onions aren't super exposed, right? That's the thing we want to make sure isn't going to happen there. Now you see that these thighs, I've left them whole, so I want to try and really keep as much of the feeling of having gyro. So gyro is generally cooked stacked on a big turning device, and that way you keep the moisture in this, in this meat, so it'll be it's stacked, you might have seen it, and it gets cooked, and then it gets shaved off the edges, and that keeps all that moisture in the meat. So I'm going to get rid of this because I've used it now on the raw meat. And we're going to the oven. Now one trick that I like to use, I do this quite often, is I use the same, just a little bit of oil for precaution. I use the same roasting pan, and I divide it basically in half. So I'm going to put the chicken on one side. And I'm going to put the potatoes on the other. And I'm going to roast it at the same time. I want to spread this out, making sure that they're not just sitting, steaming on top of one another. OK, like that. And I'm going to keep spinning this stuff around when it's in the oven so I don't burn the onions. That's my key thing here, right? Then. Potatoes are going to go on the other side. And if I find that the potatoes are cooked earlier, I can always just remove them. If I mix everything together, then it's harder to control my cooking temperature and time. Okay, so that's looking good. Oven temperature, 375, as I said. I'm going to spin this stuff around while it's in the oven. Probably going to take about a half hour, but don't fret. I'm going to have the exact time for you once I see how long it's going to take. OK, see you in about half hour, I think. Oh, yeah. All right, this is right at the 30 minute mark. Look at the golden color on that meat. The chicken, look at the onions, nice and caramelized. This is what I'm looking at. And now look at the potatoes. You see how I separated them? It's actually the perfect timing for both, both of these things. Okay, so these are going to come out very shortly. 35 minutes later, you can't imagine what smells are coming out of this oven. 
is all I'm saying to you is all I'm saying. Look at that. We got our oven fries and we've got our chicken gyro with those caramelized onions. Oh, po, 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 po. Look at that. Mmm. Now, just because we're in the quarantine kitchen doesn't mean I don't have access to some very important tools. It's time to get out the electric. I'm going electric knife to slice this chicken gyro. Who wants in? Oh, look at all those little caramelized bits. So you see what I was talking about? Those onions steam at the beginning, and then you get this golden, I mean, right now, oregano, olive oil. No garlic, because something's coming up with a bit of garlic in it, a lot of garlic. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I have some onions. The potatoes, I'm saving. They're counted. Don't even bother taking one because I counted them all. All right, ready? Let's get the electric knife going. Really making it feel. The smell is crazy. I'm already getting that mouth-watering effect because this is the whole thing about gyro. If you've ever had it, you know what I'm talking about. Now let's assemble. So there's a few things, previous videos, that are gonna give you all the instructions to what I'm about to add. Tzatziki, look at that. You wanna go and look for my Greek tzatziki video to get all the beautiful details for that because you can't have gyro without, without tzatziki. And then, a little Greek pita. So these are all made in a pan. You wanna check that video out. This one's a little bit older, so you get all the details how to make this soft, delicate pita. Shall we put one together? Ooh. Okay, so first thing, I'm not even asking you if you want tzatziki. You're getting tzatziki. Remember I said there was no garlic in it, in the chicken itself, because I knew it was gonna be laced with this beautiful tzatziki. That is like a breath of fresh air right there. Now, I have these caramelized onions with the chicken. Oh, there's totally a mouth-watering effect happening here. Absolutely. Look at that. Okay. The last little bit. Now, in the summertime, I would put tomatoes on this, but the tomatoes aren't perfect now, so that's my option to not go with tomatoes. But now, this is the thing. A few of these potatoes get wedged in. Usually these are fries, and that's such a great thing. Put them in the top there, and then you have yourself an amazing little gyro. I also put in a little bit of fresh parsley for a beautiful bright color and a great taste. Do you want just a touch more? Not too much, because <laughs> there's already so much in there. And then we just close it up and we enjoy. Those potatoes, genius. I have a smile on my face. I cannot help it. The minute you bite into this chicken gyro, you will smile. That's why I wanted to share it with you. Really bring that feeling of being on the Greek beach, taking a bite of that warm pita with the chicken and tzatziki dripping down. Ah, oh, who doesn't want to be there right now? Thank you for joining me on uh, another episode from the Quarantine Kitchen. I want to know what's happening at your place. Suggestions, please thumbs up. Give me a share, a like, and next time we'll be together again very soon in the quarantine kitchen. 
Thank you. I'm finishing this whole thing up. It's so good. So good. Crazy.